Hi, we're here at the MHL uh, meeting room at the Consumer Electronics Show, and I'm speaking with uh, Tim Wong. He's the president of Ape. MHL and uh, Tim, what does M MHL stand for? So MHL is Mobile High Definition Link. It's a consortium that was founded last year in April, uh, consisting of Toshiba, Sony, Samsung, Nokia, and Silicon Image. So these are some of the big heavyweights in the industry today. Sure. And the whole point was they wanted to come up with a audio video link that was optimized for mobile. Okay. And so that's what we have here. I actually have a device that uh, has been modified. Okay. Uh, to show off the technology and what it is is it's a media player that's playing back audio and video to this TV. Uh, that in itself isn't that interesting but what is interesting is the TV is charging this device while it's being used. So in other words uh, you're not when you finish playing your movie or whatever that's fully charged. That's fully charged okay. and ready to go. Very and good. whether it be a mobile device, a phone, a camcorder, a camera, a digital camera, a tablet, you <laughs> always have that device in a ready-to-go state. Okay. And that, that to me, is, is pretty powerful. Now, that connector is pretty small. Is it a new connector or is yes. it standard? So uh, that's what's exciting is that H, um, MHL is not, uh, does not specify an actual connector, that we are five signals over, over a cable, but we use micro USB at the uh, device side because it's already there. Most devices, it's the most popular connector to uh, mobile devices today, uh, providing USB power and USB data, and we basically just ride on top of that. Okay. Um, so on, the, on the panel side, we use HDMI, again, um, the most popular connector in mm -hmm. digital TVs today. So, uh, just to be clear, uh, a chip has to be put in that will sense which uh, is the MHL Correct. connector or not. Correct. Uh, on you know, I'll talk about the implementations on both sides. On the on the actual mobile device, there's a USB switch that senses the impedance and knows whether it's USB or MHL. Okay. And will switch accordingly. But it's a USB uh, certified switch, so mm -hmm. you know you're not violating anything on the USB side. You know, it all basically we don't want to harm anything. We want it to work really well. Right. So okay. so the switch will determine that it's an MHL signal and then route it to MHL, which is behind the USB switch. Okay. On the TV side, the port processors in the TV that, that manage the HDMI ports can auto sense based on uh, the cable that uh, an HDMI cable actually has 19 conductors in it. We only use five. So what we do is we short out two of the conductors, mm -hmm. and that way the port processor on the TV knows, hey, that's MHL, that's not HDMI, so I'll activate these five lines, I'll start charging whatever device is on the other side, and it basically, so it makes for a great user experience because they don't have to configure anything. The, the TV will automatically know whether it's MHL or HDMI. Okay, now, you're holding a remote in your hand, now what is all that about? So that's the other exciting piece of, of MHL. MHL is, you know, we call it optimized for mobile because the whole point is to make the mobile experience better. And so the TV remote control you have today that you control your TV, mm -hmm. when I connect this device, whatever device is connected, I can control the UI of this device with this remote. Okay. And it doesn't matter whether it's a Sony uh, Ericsson phone and a Samsung TV or a Toshiba TV and a you know, uh, you know Nokia phone. Um, they will all universally work with each other, and, and that's something I don't think we have today. Okay, now, so, so you can take your uh, mobile phone, say, connect it to your TV, walk away, connect, uh, control it with this remote control. Yep. Now, suppose you wanted to do something like type. Uh, you've lost, uh, you, the mobile phone is not with you anymore, not bringing up a keyboard, what can you do? So th that's the other exciting part, because we coexist with existing technologies. Uh, if you have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, you know, plug, come home, plug your phone into your TV, sit okay. down on your couch with a, your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, go and do email, go and surf the web, check your messages, you have all these things that you can do, and you know, essentially you've turned your device that you, you know, people's lives are in their phones now. Mm -hmm. You've turned it into essentially a living room PC or a fully capable device, you know, making your, your life easier to, to run. Okay, yeah. so now when this catches on, we will no, no longer see those big HDMI ports in very small devices like mobile, a mobile ca a camera or a mobile phone. I, I think it's, you know, to be fair to HDMI, it'll be up to the manufacturer. But, okay. you know, for me, you know, uh, what's nice about uh, designs of mobile devices is that, that they spend a lot of time and energy on making very slim and sleek and mm -hmm. sexy designs. Well, with MHL, I already have the micro USB port there. Mm -hmm. I have a headphone jack. That's all I need because now I can do USB data, USB power over the USB port. I can now do MHL audio, video, and power over that port plus remote control. 
I can now make really thin designs. You know, I can do some pretty cool Excellent. stuff. Yes. Okay, so that sounds fine, but uh, my TV doesn't have an M MHL port. What would I do? So uh, it's funny you bring that up because we actually have manufacturers who are already making MHL to HDMI adapters. Okay. But, you know, you have to do more than that because the problem is HDMI doesn't provide power, as you know. Right. So the question is, MHL is all about providing power while you're doing audio video. So what the manufacturers have done is put a little micro USB port on the side of the adapter. So I take my phone charger, I plug okay. it into here, I plug this into the new MHL device, and then I have standard HDMI out. And that way, uh, I can have the full MHL experience uh, with a legacy TV. Okay. And in fact, uh, phone manufacturers are actually uh, putting are going to be putting these in the actual package with the phone. Okay. So terrific. I can support legacy TVs. Okay, great. That that was a great explanation, Tim. Thanks very much. Thank you.